what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this week is like the fifth or sixth week of this filming process for screen five so far and this is the week that we're supposed to be getting nev campbell and courtney cox in some type of scenes i haven't seen any pictures come out on, on set of them yet courtney apparently arrived earlier today last night sometime today or last night and nev is supposed to be on set sometime this week because she has all these interviews that keep coming out and what it looked like was that she kept flipping it saying oh i'm going to be on set in the next couple of weeks or i'm going to be on set you know next week no i'm going to be on set you know in the next three weeks noticing that pattern it's clear that these interviews are very old so that interview that i was talking about last week and it, what everybody was talking about last week about her being on set in two weeks that was apparently that had to be shot two weeks ago because she's on set this week apparently it's just it's just a whole mess with them and, and saying when they're going to be on set yada yada but these two lovely ladies are supposed to be on set finally this week so hopefully we get an image of the trio back together again on the set of screen five as they prepare to go after or be hunt haunted down actually go after because it looks like they're going to be the ones on on the uh they're going to be the ones going after Ghostface this time. I don't think Ghostface is going to have much of anything to do with Sidney Prescott this time until the very end when that's revealed. Because I think that's exactly the formula they're going to go with. It. We're going to think it's not about Sidney, Gale, and Dewey. They're just going to be here helping this younger generation. But then come to find that they still play a very vital role in this narrative. The only vital role Dewey plays, of course, is that he is the sheriff. So his role is just kind of cemented by default for that very role that he holds in the town of woodsboro gail and sydney gail maybe going back to her ways of being a reporter maybe she has a podcast now as many people have speculated and then sydney maybe having some type of counselor role or some type of principal role assistant principal role at woodsboro high so hopefully we'll get to see them on set soon get some type of image of all three of them together because these ladies are supposed to be on set filming their scenes this week so looking forward to seeing something come out uh, officially when it does happen we need to talk about this mask situation i don't know where everyone is getting this from but i've been seeing a lot of people like misconstrue words i've seen stuff talking about roger l jackson said something roger l jackson has not stated anything he hasn't even stated if he's going to be in screen five or not he has not stated that and he hasn't even stated anything about this mask i don't know where this confusion is coming from so a lot of people are under the impression that the mask that we're familiar with seeing ghostface in will not be featured in screen five that's not what was stated what was stated was that it's not going to be the ultra white mask the ultra white mask to my knowledge is the mask that has been getting sold in stores for the past several years since screen four's release and if you know any other details about this ultra white mask go ahead and share it down in the comments section below what is happening is rj tobert or tarbert who is we know we know we identify him with this mask and him coming up with the moniker of Ghostface, if i'm not mistaken uh with fun world and everything we know that goes with the ghost face mask and that license to that mask he is the one that did an interview with Ghostface uk and he was just going over the fact that because i made it i talked about this briefly in my video not that that we're not going to have a mask looking like what we're used to it's not going to be the ultra white mask so i was talking about how it was going to have possibly a silver tint to it and everything but this is what he stated during that sit down with ghostface uk because they had a whole video up on twitter i've seen it shared in many places you probably can find it on youtube he said there's been a rumor going around that the ultra white mask is involved what i will tell you is that the killer the main killer will not have the ultra white mask there's something else involved and it's not the white mask so a lot of people i guess took that last bit since he didn't say it's not the ultra white mask they think that Ghostface isn't going to have any type of white to his mask at all this time around. Now, what I was stating that they may have a silver tint to it of some sort, but Roger L. Jackson wasn't the one who said this. That's that's completely wrong. Um, I saw Daily Mail spreading that around, and then a whole bunch of people had to come out and and state that that's not true. That's not the case because that's it's absolutely not the case. What was stated was that the ultra white mask is not going to be the one that the main killer uses. Uh, and this ultra white mask probably won't even be probably won't even be featured in the film but he he stated that the ultra white mask as to, to what he stated the ultra white mask we know that the main killer will not have it so he's also insinuating that there's going to be multiple killers and 
Ghostface's mask, to, just to put this to bed, Ghostface's mask, to the best of my knowledge, after reading his words and digesting everything and knowing what he actually was stating, he wasn't stating that we're going to have some different type of mask. Yes, we're going to have a new mask. We have a variation of the mask each film. I don't know how so many people overlook this. And I honestly think it has to do with the fact that at the end of his statement, he didn't state that it's not going to be the ultra white mask. He stated it's going to be the white mask. And you know, there's people who don't know what he means when he's saying ultra white. So they just think Ghostface won't have any type of white mask in this film. Uh, that's not what's happening. We're going to have a white mask of some sort, but the main killer will not be wearing that ultra white mask. Maybe the other partner sidekicks will be wearing this ultra white mask, or maybe they'll be wearing something else. Now, a lot of people have been speculating that maybe we could see Ghostface, this Ghostface mask for the main killer could be some type of weathered, weathered or rotten down mask, dirty mask, an original mask similar to what we got in the in the first movie. We could be seeing Billy and, Billy and Stu's mask return. How they go about doing that, I don't know. I know some Twitter users uh, who I was talking to on Twitter talked about stealing it from an evidence locker something to that effect i don't i don't really know about all that if they add like a silver tint to it, like what it looked like in that teaser we got because it looked like some type of silver metal tint modification to the mask i think that's what we're gonna get i think that's what we're gonna get that at least for the main killer anyway that's just my honest opinion but just to put that to bed we're not, it's not that we're gonna have an entirely different mask at least i hope not he stated that the ultra white mask is the one we're not going to see the one that we saw in screen four but we've had a new mask every film there's been different variations of it so i don't know where everyone got mixed up at i don't know why this got blown out of proportion but just wanted to put that to bed and just put everyone at ease that this mask this iconic mask will be featured in screen five it's just not going to be the ultra white one it's going to be some other modification just like the other previous entries before screen four gave us they all have looked different in some degree they've been different masks each time they've been the same mold same type of general outcome but they've all looked different they've all looked different in some way and it's just that they're all very similar in nature so maybe the differences don't stick out to you guys as much but they stick out to me they all have been different masks <laughs> but getting into the last bit some scream queens got together uh this week nev campbell actually got to sit down with the one the only the sister of michael myers not anymore uh <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis, they sat down and had some type of sit down with Variety and they were going over just their statuses as being horror, horror icons, being scream queens, talking about different stunts they've gone over. Nev has been beating this to a pulp at this point. She's talking about this letter that she got <laughs> that the director sent her that basically convinced her to get back on board for Scream 5. This sweet letter. She's talked about this letter so much that I want her to, if I ever meet Nev Campbell, the first thing I'm going to ask for is that letter because you're talking about this letter so much. I need to sit down and get a look at it myself because this letter must be the best letter ever written. It's got to be better than any love letter out there because she anytime she t is asked about Scream 5 every other time she's talking about this <laughs> this letter and I appreciate her passion for this letter. But it has me interested to read it because if this letter was that good, um, then I'm glad Matt Ben and Lane Tyler Gale wrote together a very detailed, thoughtful letter to her. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.